This is Suzanne in France, property reference number SIF 001814. In between Saint-Pois and ville les poils in the Mont area of Normandy. It's a house with an annex that could be rented out if required. Straight into a nice farmhouse kitchen. It was renovated completely between 2013 and 2015. Wood burner there. Which is the main source of heating in the house. Wood burner in here and another wood burner in the lounge that you'll see in a minute. Nice granite fireplace. Farmhouse kitchen. Space there for a range star cooker with an extractor over. Nice wide island unit there, separating the kitchen from the dining area. The door there that goes through to the utility room, which I'll show you in a minute. And then just turning back round, cupboard there by the door, stairs to the first floor, and plenty of eating room. Exposed stone features, and electric heating as well as the wood burners. This was a barn conversion, this part of the property, which made a really lovely room. Got doors out there onto the terrace. Turning around there and seeing the wood burner. Nice light room, plenty of light coming in. A view out over the garden at the back. Nice character features, the big stones picked out on the wall there. So now through into the utility room. Again, fitted out with plenty of units. Washing machines in here. Got a door to the back garden. And then through from there to the kitchen that side. And through this side, you've got a room that the vendors call a garden room. Could be a downstairs bedroom. So if you wanted a bedroom downstairs, this would be the place. Again, nice and light. It's an open fire, which does work in this room. Again, electric heating. And just across the way, you've got a downstairs toilet. through the kitchen. The door the cupboard there would have been where there was a connecting door between this property and the annex. So that could be opened up quite easily if you wanted to connect the two again. Upstairs and into the first of the bedrooms. Got a single bed at the minute, but it did have a double bed before. You then go through into a study area. which leads through to the master bedroom. So again, nice spacious room. This is in the part that was a barn, so it's above the living room. Nice wood floor, it's double aspect, nice and light. Good high ceilings.
You then go through into the dressing room. Nicely lined out with shelving and hanging space. And then through into the ensuite. Through a nice bath, vanity unit, toilet and a shower. Get a nice separation when you've got guests, even in this side of the house, because the other bedroom's at the other side of the landing. Got it to this side. This is the family bathroom, which as you can see is a shower with a toilet and hand basin. steps up to the rest of the landing into your guest bedroom so this is a double room So this room is a bedroom, it would be a single room because it's L-shaped. So it doesn't make the nine metres squared because we have to mend it, uh, measure it from the sloping ceilings at one metre eighty. So nice lot of storage, could be a nursery, could be a study, hobby room, etc. back out onto the landing, it's a nice stone feature on the door. And now we're going into the annex. This is not currently let, it's used for family and friends. So an open plan, living room, kitchen on the ground floor. Got electric heating and the wood burner. Fitted kitchen, there's a hot water cylinder in the tall cupboard there. Fridge tucked under the stairs neatly with cupboard next to it. And then into a nicely fitted shower room with a washing machine in here as well. So space and plumbing for a washing machine. You've got a heated towel rail, toilet, hand basin and shower. Again, nice and light. Upstairs onto the landing, and I look out over the land. It's about an acre and a quarter with this property, which surrounds it. But you are a walking distance of a village, which has got a bar, restaurant, shop. So this is the bigger of the two bedrooms. At the front of the house, you get morning sun there. And then a second bedroom. Again, this would be under the nine metres squared, but as you can see clearly, it is suitable for a bedroom, even if it's just one single. Back out onto landing. This is the back of the house, so I just wanted to show you the proximity to the village. And this is the paddock. So the current owners, just a fence line there, um, current owners like to maintain it as garden, so they mow it, but it would be suitable for a pony or some sheep or ducks or get your know, chickens. Going back around the back of the house there, you've got a couple of parking spots. It's got its tarmac drive, a garage there with the first floor over for storage. That's got a concrete floor and uh, power and light. Then the garden to the front of the house. So more of a formal garden to the front of the house. Paddock to the rear, or even if it's mowed. A 
This probably would have been vegetable garden, both sides of this path in its day, its heyday. An outbuilding there that belongs with the property. So again, useful space. It would have been used for stabling storage. Looking back towards the house. So house on the left. Annex on the right. The garage there. And just panning around and looking at the garden. If you'd like more details about the property, please head across to the website suzanneinfrance.com. Thank you.